The Book of Sanctuary, Introduction, An Invitation My first memories growing up in a sleepy Irish village were happy ones. Things were simpler back then. I enjoyed school, had friends, and attended a circus when it was in town. I remember the exciting atmosphere when something eventful happened. Fun fairs, sports day, and school nature walks brought everyone together as a community. There wasn't much else to do in such a rural place. A group of us would venture up the back road, just to pass the time. It was a long walk, uphill, with vast countryside on each side of the road. Wide open fields and forests were always waiting to be explored. There was a place of interest we would go, because of its stunning views of the countryside. We called it the Rocky Mountains. It overlooked the surrounding hills with a view as far as the eye could see. It's not really a mountain, gaining its name because of the big rocks that lay scattered around the hillside. We would climb to the top, jump off the rocks and land in the ferns below. The simple days of youth were truly a memorable time. I don't call it the Rocky Mountains now. It was a name that suited a youthful imagination and will forever be a name lost in time. To this day, I still stand on those rocks and look around the landscape with sighs of nostalgia. Today, I call it sanctuary. Time changed everything and what my childhood stood for. I lost sight of the happy years, became distant from my friends and did not know what I wanted to be as I grew older. Years passed I found myself wandering the countryside alone, content in my own company. I didn't feel nostalgic back then. I felt alive and in the moment. Exploring each pathway in depth, I learned what it really meant to be Irish. Spending my days wandering through misty green fields, Celtic folklore existed right before my eyes. The early days of school had taught me about the myths and fairy tales of our past. I was fascinated with the stories about the children of Lur and Cú Cullen. The landscape had brought those fairy tales to life. My Celtic roots began to shine at an early age. I would walk along the forest and talk to trees. I followed rainbows looking for gold, feeling an essence of magic during a storm. I was a dreamer who envisioned romance beyond every breath of nature. When the storms would pass, sunlight brought a bountiful energy across the land. Birds flew above me under clear blue skies. Animals ran to me, becoming my friends. Everything I could ever want, I had, in a place I belonged to evermore. Mundane walks through fields of green became rituals of time. Each season was a learning experience. I saw the countryside in a new light and a lavish darkness. During winter, nature became transparent, revealing the shadows that haunted my dreams. Springtime stole my heart, giving me flowers in time of need. My favourite parts of summer were the witching hours and dawn. Falling leaves in autumn allowed the trees to whisper on. Nature had spoken in an ethereal way, from the faint whispers of a magical forest to piercing screams in the twilight shadows. I was absorbed by both the light and the darkness. When it rains, it pours in Ireland, and with it comes a melancholic sadness which trails every thought. Seeking shelter in the shadows reminded me of nature's essential loneliness. A romantic heart in the eye of the storm, longing for love and wild adventures. I cried tears in the falling rain, running all the way home, and then I cried some more. Under brooding skies, that happy childhood was a distant memory. Someone once said, Happiness is only real when shared. It made me think how short life is and to live each day to the full. Today, 
I invite you on a whimsical adventure. I want to share with you a magical countryside which gives me pride to be Irish. Welcome to Sanctuary. Sanctuary.